the Instagram ad strategy that any business can implement. Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice. I wanna to talk to you about Instagram ads and how you can apply them to your business. Now, the big thing to remember, asterisk at the very beginning, is that Facebook owned Instagram, right? A lot of people forget about <laughs> how, Facebook is, how Facebook controls Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, a whole range. So if you wanna utilize any of these platforms for a paid advertising perspective, you've gotta learn how to run Facebook ads. So I wanna talk about a couple of different strategies because when you look at Instagram, there's really three key things that you need to take into consideration, right? And obviously the fir very first is that it's different to Facebook. You go to Instagram for a different experience than you do to Facebook. So you've gotta have that asterisk at the very beginning in your thought process and going, okay, Facebook is more everything and everyone. Instagram is a very visual and can be in some places native and natural in nature. What do I mean by native and natural in nature? When you go there, there's two kind, like the, the, the nativity of it is that there's a couple of different things. It's originally a video, a video and photo sharing platform, right? That's really one of the big ones that people go there for. So there's a mix between highly curated and highly hand selected and uh, edited, and then also natural, being that there's also a, uh, a wide variety of people just there and it's like, no, uh, no hair, no hair done, no makeup done, very native, um, very natural in process in nature. So they're the two things that you need to balance, right? So that when you're going there, it's like you need to realize it's different to Facebook and as well as being different, you've also got different sizes because there's three, uh, part of that, there's three areas that you can promote on, which I'll cover on in a sec, in the other two aspects. <clears throat> but you do need to ensure that when you're thinking about it, right, there's different dimensions to your ads, there's different dimensions and strategies that you need to be utilizing. So please don't just go and select all placements on your Facebook ads. Make sure that you have a specific approach to the paid side that you're doing, right? And number two is that you need to identify between your promotion of a pure advertisement and content because you can go on there and you do a post onto your Instagram feed if you're looking at the content side of things and you can just promote that like the old school boost and that will get engagement on that specific post you've done. So you can just go in and promote that out and get engagement get and, uh, and, and have people react to that engage with it and um, em uh, em emphasize with it. And then you've also got actually like a direct response, direct marketing style ad that you can create and leverage as well. So there's two different avenues there. So you need to choose, are you going there to promote content or are you going there to promote your organic, or like are you going there to promote content or are you going there to do a direct response, a direct marketing style ad where you wanna get leads, you wanna get uh, conversions, you wanna get sales. Because again, each one needs to be weighed up differently. So if you're looking at this, you need to map out this process and understand which avenue are you going down. Number one, make sure that you know it's different, right? And then you're looking at the different sizes to use the different nativity in nature that it has. Then number two, you need to be able to assess, great, am I promoting content or am I doing a direct response style, uh, like feedback loop where I'm gonna get leads, engagement, etc. So once you've chosen that, then it feeds down into the last point, number three, which is that you need to choose the placement on Instagram, because again, it's different, right? So the three placements that you can essentially choose from is Instagram stories, Instagram feed, and then newly sneaking out here and there is the explore feed. So there's three places that you can place your ads. Now, Instagram stories, you are hamstrung by 15 seconds. You have 15 seconds to be able to convey your message. On the Instagram feed, you've got up to a minute if you're looking at video. So if you look at things, number one, I'm gonna talk about Instagram stories. Instagram stories, you want it to, again, be native in nature. You want it to be like, if you're scrolling through Instagram on the stories and something highly created, something that's like too polished comes up, you're like, hang on, I'm, go I'm looking at my friend who's in the bathroom, she's got her hair's not done, she's talking about her kids and their day and whatever it is, and then I come up with very highly polished. Like it, it can work to break the state, but you need to make sure that you're doing it in the right way because something too polished on there is going to feel out of place. So where you can like, you know, you can put text over the top, you can put emojis, you can put GIFs. They're all things that are native to that section that you should definitely be looking at when you're creating your ad strategy on stories. It definitely works. And I find stories to be really, really cheap and effective. However, the uh, to drive traffic, but the 
conversions aren't as high. Because you've got to think about how people are coming in there. So you can get a lot of traffic there because people will swipe up, they'll check out what you've got. Um, if you're sending people to a landing page, but then they're like, oh, I'm in the, I was in the middle of my friend's stories. I wanted to see the person next and I, you grabbed my attention. So I'm going to get rid of this and come back to it. So that's where your retargeting comes into effect. So stories I find really good for direct traffic, sending people there and then they, they'll literally go back to what they're doing. So that's really good for building your audience to retarget. And then I find the feed post really good for capturing and converting those leads. Um, so the, as I said, the feed post is where you can have a little bit more higher converting setup. You can have a little bit more uh, direct response style. You've got up to a minute to leverage and capture your video there, which works really, really effectively. So that's one that I highly recommend that you look at and assess. Now the explore feed is completely different again. It's only open to a few different placements and they kind of let it slip through every now and again. It pops up in an ad account, it disappears. Uh, but if you can capture it, use it. But you need to look at your explore feed and see how people interact there. Because that's really, when it comes to Instagram ad strategy, you need to just be weighing up all these different options, right? That's the only way that you can craft what strategy will work for you is you need to look at the responsiveness and you need to measure it all off against each other as well. But if you do set it up nicely, Instagram can be a great way, especially if you have something that's visual in nature, if you have something that is highly, highly converting, and you know works well in other audiences and you can you know you can convey that and you can line that up on Instagram you are probably going to be very successful with it but it, I'm not going to say it will work for everyone some of our clients some of our um, coaching clients that we work with it doesn't work and others it works tremendously well it just depends on your audience I would say normally if you're working in kind of like the 18 to 35 year old age bracket Instagram is going to be perfect 35 plus I'm finding more so on Messenger and, and Facebook. Not to say that they're not on Instagram, but they're in a higher propensity. But I like to merge them together because like I said, you can get a lot of traffic from Instagram, Instagram stories, um, and then retarget them on Facebook. That is something that I definitely recommend pulling in as part of your strategy. So if I'm to recoup and reiterate all of that for you, number one, starting out and making sure you understand it is a different platform to Facebook. So you do need to line things up slightly differently. You need to have different image sizes and everything like that. Everything needs to be customized to it. it needs to be native um, uh, in, in nature for that to work. Native and natural in nature. Number two is that you really need to focus and identify kind of if it's content production that you're looking to boost or if it's actually direct response. It's really important to know the difference between the two of those and how you're gonna weigh it up. And then number three is you need to look at the three different options you have for targeting. Stories, feed, and explore. All are very different. All need a different approach, right? So you do need to focus on that as best as you can. So I highly implore you to do that and take those three keys to building out your advertising strategy. And if you did like what you heard today, please do give us a thumbs up. Let us know, drop a comment down below if there's anything else you want us to cover up for you. And as always, make sure that you subscribe, turn the little bell notification on so that you can see these videos before anyone else. Until next time, I'm Kim. Y'all have been awesome. Adios.